Here's a question from Metalcraft FPV who asks, if my video outranges my control link with a 400 milliwatt VTX and a Radio Master Pocket, 250 milliwatts at 50 hertz. Drone with X12 AIO with serial ELRS with ceramic antenna. If I get a module with one watt ELRS, will that be enough? Okay, so here's the things you have working against you, okay? 250 milliwatts. The difference between 250 milliwatts and one watt is 4x the power, which is 6 dB, which very conveniently works out to double the range. All else being equal, if you 4x the power, you double the range. Isn't that, isn't that convenient? Okay, so if you were to go to a module with a 1 watt ELRS uh, power, you would approximately double your range. And you can decide, like, is that enough? You tell me. You're the one flying the drone. I can also tell you that that ceramic antenna is costing you about 6 dB. So that's another doubling of the range if you had an external antenna instead of that ceramic antenna. So the problem is you have several things working against you. Good for you for using 50 hertz. If you're using 250 hertz, that's another, I'm not sure how many dB, it's, it's, not, it's not good. Hang on, let me check. Uh, will this work on a, on a GX12? Hang on, Express LRS. I don't see the frickin' no. Hang on. Um, DCA. Uh, well, that's interesting idea. Uh, DCA B E C A O says his ceramic antenna must be broken. There's no way. That's a good point. Yeah, the ceramic antennas often get like cracked or broken in a crash, and give really shitty range. That's a good point. Why don't you do this? Will you do this test? Go to ExpressLRS and search for, you can see here, ExpressLRS table test before you fly. Search for, you want the before fri first flight page. And then right here, we've got bench test. Go to here, ExpressLRS.org, before first flight bench test. I'm not going to give you the URL. Just Google it. Just search for it. And do the bench test. And what that'll do is that'll tell you if your antenna is broken. Bear in mind that you're going to lose about 6 dB just to the fact that you have a ceramic antenna. So, but it should give you, if you get a number between negative 40 and negative 25, you're good. And if you get a number below, let's say, negative 45, then that's suspicious.